Hey, what's up? Ezra here from EzraSlayton.com. You know what it is. Today I've got seven money-making apps that are going to pay you to do simple tasks. And I'm going to try to get through these as quickly as I can because I am a little sick. So if you want to make me feel better, go down in the comment section and type get well soon. I'd really appreciate that. And then give us a big like on this video. It would just warm my heart and make me feel really good. Okay. Now they've got these seven apps that are going to pay you for doing simple tasks. And uh, you know, you may as well get paid a little bit of money for doing some of those things that you already do online. I'm talking about like searching on the web, watching videos, or uh, you know, playing games and so on, okay? So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is called TaskRabbit. Now TaskRabbit is going to allow you to help out other people who need small or big tasks done around their home or the office. Tasks might be something like cleaning a room, putting together uh, some furniture that they just recently bought from Ikea or Walmart, Target, whatever. Moving some boxes, fixing the toilet, you know, whatever. Whatever they've got a little task needs to be done, they post it on TaskRabbit, and then uh, you go ahead and sign up for that task, you get paid. TaskRabbit's gonna take a small cut, I believe it's about 10%, or something like that, or 20%. So it's fairly small, okay? Um, I read that Jamie Vigano, hope I said that right, he's the VP or Vice President of TaskRabbit's marketing. He said that 10 to 15% of TaskRabbit contractors who are fully committed are earning around $6,000 to $7,000 each month, all right? And what they're doing is just completing these tasks for people. It could be, um, you know, a handyman or some girl that's really good at cleaning. Uh, she just goes around, gets a bunch of different clients, cleans up for them, and makes a bunch of money. Okay, fast rabbit. All right, next we got app trailers. App trailers. Um, the, the simplest way that I could put this is you're just going to get paid to watch video clips, trailers, um, and different app promotions. Okay, videos are known to include um, games. All right, games from big studios, so like the game trailers, and. Uh, those studios include Supercell, EA Games, Rovia, and many more, and they've also got indie developers on there as well. Now, naturally, the more, video, the more videos or trailers that you watch, uh, the more points that you get, and then you can cash those out for different things like PayPal Cash, Amazon gift cards, um, Starbucks gift cards, and so on and so on, okay? And then uh, you can earn, also earn rewards by answering trivia-based questions uh, for bonus points, so that's pretty cool. Next, we got App Bounty. Uh, App Bounty is going to pay you for trying out free mobile apps available on both the iOS and the Android. Uh, this is a worldwide uh, opportunity, so that's great. For, I know a lot of you guys are not in the US, so this one's gonna be good for you. Again, it's called App Bounty. Um, you can convert your points to gift cards from, from uh, iTunes. Xbox, PlayStation, Amazon, Steam, and many more. Uh, there are also in-app rewards uh, such as diamonds, gold, and other in-app currencies. Currently, uh, App Bounty has accumulated well over 250,000 reviews, and it has an average rating of 4.2 on the Google Play Store. Okay, we've got GigWalk. Now, GigWalk is going to be similar to TaskRabbit. Um, instead of doing a task, you're going to be completing a gig. GIG gig. You perform gigs in person in your area and you get paid a few extra bucks for doing that. On average, gigs take anywhere from as little as five minutes to as much as a few hours, and the pay is often between $3 and, and it goes all the way up to 100 or even more. It just depends on the work and the location that you do your, <clears throat> your tasks or your gig, as you might expect. Uh, gigs are often posted by companies and retailers, sometimes requiring the users to go and take a photo of their products and, uh, or local events in an array of different locations. Okay, you may need to visit a store just to ensure that the products are available and the proper shelf placement is uh, done as well. And uh, they also want to know that they are displayed properly and the price is also correct. So if you're someone who is rarely at home and you're always out on the go, you might consider GeekWalk as a way to make a little bit of extra money while you're out doing your thing, okay? Next is Clash Shot, or Clash Shot, Clash Shot. 
have you got heaps of photos? Maybe you do. Um, you know, nowadays technology is just going through the roof. Uh, all these phones got amazing cameras on them. Like this, the, the phone that I'm recording this video on right now is a Huawei P20 Pro, and it's got an amazing camera. The quality is it's just it's out of control. So, and you know, with that, they've also got these filters on there, so you can make pretty much anything look gorgeous, like almost professional grade. So you can take those photos if they're interesting, like. Um, I don't know, you could do a search online and see like what are people need photos of. Uh, they might need photos of people or fruits, um, office spaces, you know, whatever. And uh, you can get paid anywhere from 50 cents to $8 or $80 uh, for each of those photos and you get 44% of the revenue generated, all right? Not bad. And keep in mind that each photo has the opportunity to sell more than once. So if that happens, you're going to get paid again and again for each sale that your photo makes. And once your balance has reached over 50 US dollars, then you'll be able to cash out with PayPal or you can use Skrill if that's what you're into. Next up is Cash Pirate. And um, Cash Pirate is just one of those apps that pay you to try free things, uh, or I'm sorry, to download free apps, to watch videos, do surveys. Um, you can check out their free products via trial pay and sponsor pay. You can earn pirate coins for all the various tasks that you finish. And then you can swap them out for gift cards, PayPal cash, or even Bitcoin once you reach a certain amount of points. Um, additionally, and this is the best part about this one, I think, is that you can uh, get paid for your refers, referees. So if I bring somebody into the program, I'm going to get 10% of everything that they earn. And if that same person brings another person in, I'll get 5% of their earnings, okay? So it really incentivizes people to recruit others into the program uh, so that they can all kind of benefit from that and make some money, make some additional money off of their friends or their referrals, referrals uh, efforts, okay? Now for every thousand coins that you get, you'll earn $1 and you need a minimum of 2,500 coins to cash out, so $2.50 cash out. If you want to get Bitcoin though, you're going to need at least 5,000 points, right? Or $5. All right, and last thing we're going to talk about is Moby. Now, I put Moby last on the list because it has some pretty bad reviews um, on the Google Play Store. Um, however, it is a way that you can earn some money by doing some simple tasks, and I want you to decide for yourself whether or not it's a good fit for you. Don't always take what other people say as the end all be all. All right, so if I think that something's bad, another person might think it's good. You know, I just think that that third person should figure it out for themselves, uh, what they think for themselves, all right? So Moby is going to be paying you uh, to go out and be a mystery shopper at various businesses in your area. Missions may include taking photos, shopping, and answering some questions about your experience. And it's easy to get started, you just download the app, and you're going to search for missions that you find interesting and then go complete those missions. Of course, you need to fill out your account <clears throat> to the best of your ability. And then once you finish, you'll have to answer, once you finish a mission, you'll have to answer about five questions, <clears throat> excuse me, five to ten questions and then submit them for a review. And then for each successful mission that you complete, you get points. Um, on average, each mission takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it pays between $1 to $10 per mission, depending on the mission. <clears throat> on the, uh, like I said before, the downside is that it has some pretty bad reviews, but you can decide for yourself, right? So in conclusion, these apps are a great way to get some extra money coming in, but not, by no means will you get rich uh, doing these ones. They're not gonna be any life-changing income coming in from doing these small tasks, unless you are one of the 10 to 12% that do well with TaskRabbit. And then you can end up creating your own business, hiring other people on, and making a lot more money. So there's that. But the other ones, don't expect to make a bunch of money with them. If you need an opportunity to make more money, if you want to make like, I don't know, $10,000 a month, whatever, then I suggest that you go ahead and check out my number one make money online method down below in the description of this video. And there's also, I do suggest if you're brand new to entrepreneurship, that you do take the 30 day success challenge, which I also have listed down in the description of this 
video. All right, guys, so remember, comment below, get well soon so that I can heal faster because I'm so tired of being sick. And if you would like to, you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this where we talk about ways to make more money online, pretty much anything in the Make Money Online space. All right, so that's it. Big like, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Peace.